What you gon' sit on your ass? What you gon' love on a bitch? You better get you a bag. You better get you a stitch. I made a lot off my wrist. Sweat to a skinny. I could get up like Benny. I move the weight like Jimmy. Drake on Lenny. You can get here with this silly. What you gon' sit on your ass? Baby, man, from Sula, Maryland, man. How was the life over there? Where it from? Crazy. Crazy. How was the life? It's a war. It's living in a war zone for real. Yeah, I wake up every day, I mean, it's, it's a war. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of hate in the air, a lot of animosity around. Mm -hmm. Crabs in the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to see nobody get out, bro. That's where I'm from, bro. It's crazy. You still standing there? Yeah, somewhere. I'm mean, eating Cali a lot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, music starts going? Yeah. That's what's up. So how how you start making music at all? Uh, I started making music like that. four or five years. I was making it like ten years, but I started saying it serious like four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, what made you do? I started taking it serious because my men started telling me to take it serious. For real, mm -hmm. I, was, you know, I, was, I was in the streets. I was like, mm -hmm. fuck this rap shit because I wasn't making no money out of it. But. Mm -hmm. My man telling me like you, you got it, like you need to take take serious, like push push put your all into it, put some money into it, invest into yourself. Mm -hmm. See if some people support you, see if some people want to invest into you, you need to take shit serious. So I surrounded myself with the right people during the time. Um, it was I think I started like four or five, like three years ago. Mm -hmm. Me and my man Bino, free Bino, Don Big Don Bino. Me and my man Bino linked in together and uh we started rapping together. Bino made him a nice hit. Boom. Bino started taking off off his hit. He made a, uh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna name drop, but he made him a diss song and, and it, it went blue, blue. Yeah, boom. So Bino, then he came right back with another bang. Boom. But during the time it's Bino doing this thing, I'm doing my thing at the same time too. So at the end of the day, it was me, Bino, and Q. Y'all like shining it around the same period. This one Q was y'all like just coming home. Q had like Q was just coming home. He was y'all like 20, 30, 20, 20, 25 thousand followers at the time. I think I had like three thousand followers, bro, at the time. Bino had like two thousand followers. Bino had the lowest followers out of everybody. Bino made a song. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, but once Bino, once Bino got locked up, it was like. I started holding this shit, started going harder with this mm -hmm. shit because it was like, you feel like, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, like, cause I ain't, ain't nobody. I, I was depending on being, I ain't gonna hold you. I was depending on thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna catch it off him, but at the end of the day, that ain't gonna happen. You gotta catch it on your, you gotta catch your own shit. So I just branched my soap off mm -hmm. and started doing my own little thing. And, and, I'm going hard with this shit. I'm going hard, I'm going hard, I'm going hard. We dropping songs, dropping songs, videos, mixtapes, videos, mixtapes, videos, mixtapes. I'm going hard with this shit for like eight months straight. We to touch 100k views every, like every two months on every video. Anybody who do a feature with me, they know they're going, they're going to get a lot of views, and get a lot of plays, a lot of streams. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, man. Fuck it, I just started going hard with this shit, bro. This shit just started working out. I just started working out. And then like, like six months ago, I ain't gonna lie, I was gonna quit this shit. Mm -hmm. I was quit, I was like, I don't even, I was like, I don't even wanna rap no more. Like six months ago, I was gonna quit. Uh, Real quick, this is where I'm making no money. I got three kids, but man, two, three bills to pay, I got people to take care of, you know what I'm saying, mortgage and all that. So at the time, when, when shit wasn't working out with money and bills and paper and all that, I was like, the rap ain't really getting me no money. It's getting me recognition. People know me now, but it ain't giving me no money. I still got these bills to pay. I still got these three little girls I got to feed. And I still got an expensive taste that I want to take care of and look good with my damn self. But at the end of the day, it was like, man, fuck rap, I'm about to go sell this, these bags. I'm about to touch off three, four bags and, and get these gone in three days. You know what I'm saying? Rap about this shit later. If it makes some money, then fuck it, you know what I'm saying? But 
Everybody kept telling me, like, I got to choose one, you know what I'm saying? So, eventually I just choose one and I just started going hard with the guy. Fell back off that shit, for real. Yeah, so what's the, what's the moment when you just started, like, you know? Like, you feel, you feel like, I got to just do it? Nah, I, I ain't gonna hold you. I was still dipping and dabbing a little bit, but... And when I was like, man, fuck it, I'm just gonna go straight cool rap. That's when I met, met Relly. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold you. I been straight rap for like a month and a half, month and a half. Man. Straight rap, no, no street shit. Relly been gonna keep me focused. Mm -hmm. Every time I be like, I'm gonna go to street shit. Nah, bro, we don't need you doing that. You know what I'm saying? I be on it. Like, like, that as long as I got somebody to keep me focused like that, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be straight. So it's it means a lot to have a lot of like um, big homies stepping yeah. out for you. I ain't gonna say big homies, you know what I'm saying? Like bro, like bro, family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ain't nobody that big homies, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gang members where we from, you know what I'm saying? We brothers, we're family. Did you get some information from big people? Uh, somebody hit you up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. On the only people I had met for real, like big people that I met for real, Rocky. That's the biggest person I met, Rocky. Like, that nigga woke me up in my sleep like two, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> out in New York, I was asleep. He woke me up like, man, put your shit on the hot. I'm like, look at him like, you talking to me? Like, yeah, you, you play your music. I ain't even think he wanted me to play that shit for real. Then I met Rocky again out here in LA. And he seen my, I had a little diesel sweatshirt on. He was chopping up with me again because he liked the way I was driven. He liked the way I was oozing, you know what I'm saying? Free Tato too. Tato is another person coming out of the DMV that's popping too. He's locked up right now. Free Tato. I said, I said Big Don Bino too, right? Yeah, yeah, I said Big Don Bino too. Do you move right now? Are you trying to move next? Next, I got, um, she got five tapes on the way. Like, five, six tapes on the way, bro. Like, we got, we got Trap God 9, that's already wrapped up right now. We just waiting to box and ship it, you know what I'm saying? All we doing is ready to get that, to get the, get it wrapped up and get it ready to put on the stock. We get it put out there, you know what I'm saying? Then we got uh, Mental Issues 2 about to come out of Trap God 9. Then we got Supply and Demand 2. Then I got a project coming out with Remy. Um, and then I um, also got a project coming out with Scar for the Plug. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also got a joint take with ASAP Ad, ASAP Ad. Yeah, I got a joint take with ASAP Ad and Lulu P. Uh, Marino and Fentry take. Shout out to my boys, Marino and Fentry. Shout out Marino and Fentry. Shout out DJ Nick. Shout out ASAP Ad. Shout out Lulu P. Yeah, Say some words for the Russian fans. So, how could you over there? I don't know who's messing with me on Russian. So, if y'all is messing with me on Russian, let it be known, man. Show love under the page. Uh, we post, we. Right under my video, so I can know what's going on. Cause I don't know if y'all love me all Russia. If y'all do, I love the know, so I can show sure love back. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make it happen. Yeah, yeah. 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 we need to make it happen, man. I'm ready.